International Conference on Arts and Humanities. My name is Kenya Yao. I come from um, the Chinese University of Hong Kong. And first of all, I want to thank uh, the organizers of this conference. Thank you so much for organizing such a, a meaningful event. And this is uh, the first time I'm leaving to many of you to come to Sri Lanka. It's a very beautiful city. And I, I'm really uh, feeling very excited about it. So um, today I would like to present and my topic is an alternative path to happiness. Representation and consumption of Korea in Japan since 2000. Um, I'm not sure if uh, there are many Japanese or Korean people today. Can you raise your hands if you're either Japanese or Korean? Okay, only three Korean uh, scholars. No Japanese. So maybe you're not very familiar with these guys. Anyone of you know who are they? Oh, maybe just Abe. You see two Abe's because um, this is a picture of um, the eight prime ministers from 2001 to this year, 2014. So you see even only um, within um, slightly more than a decade, um, Japanese prime minister have changed for eight times. So you can imagine. Um, Japan has been facing a serious lacking of leadership since the birth of the bubble economy in the early 1990s. The prematurity and incapability of prime ministers after the step down of the first guy on the left, Koizumi Junichiro, in 2006, reinforced the fact that the country is lacking of a strong model to follow. So, in response to the declining image of men or fathers, towns such as Ame Oyaji, the first one, which means incompetent old man, and Sodai Gomi, which means oversized garbage, are often used by the Japanese to describe fathers who lost their jobs in corporate reconstructing. On the other hand, the younger generations are also known by negative expressions due to their incapability to live independently or connect to the real world. And these terms are mostly um, for Japanese men. Examples include otaku, maybe you have heard about this term, people who, with obsessive interest in anime, comics, and games, hikikomori, people seek extreme degrees of isolation and confinement, parasito, flita, nito, and Shoshokuke Daishi, which means a um, hetero man um, who have no interest in um, marriage or women in reality because they think um, they don't know how to handle women, something like that. Dai Min Bong Jin, a film made in 2007, the title is Big Man Japan in English, is a black comedy which reveals the critical situation of nowadays Japan and illustrates the passive and degrading image of Japanese men. So the purpose of this presentation is to investigate the portrayal of Korea in Japanese movies and Japan's changing perception of Korea since the year of 2000. In particular, it explores how Japanese people take Korean culture as an alternative of their hope and happiness. So most of the Japanese movie after the Second World War, for example, Death by Hanging, a film made by the very famous Japanese director Oshima Narisa in 1968, portrayed Koreans living in Japan, or Zainichi Kankobujin, as victims of discrimination. As Korea's economy matured, in a change in the portrayal of Koreans living in Japan in Japanese cinema became evident. So this change is first found in a film called All Under the Moon, 
a comedy written and directed by resident Koreans in Japan, Yang So Il and Sai Yoichi in 1993. And in 2001, Japanese Emperor Akihito made a statement on his 68th birthday, claiming that the Japanese royal family actually contains Korean royal blood. So this is a very breaking news, actually. In the same year, a movie called Go was released and became a big hit in Japan. Go was adapted from a novel by an other Korean living in Japan, Kareshiro Kazuki. The story is about a third generation resident Korean in Japan, Sugihara, played by actor Kubotsuka Yosuke, see that guy on the top, who struggles through his identity as a Korean and his relationship with a Japanese high school girl. So other movies that depict Japanese Korean couples include Summer of Chiruzoku, Breakthrough, and Virgin Snow. The frequent depiction of Japanese-Korean couples in the recent decade is reflective of Japanese society, as marriages became, uh, between Japanese and Koreans have been rising steadily since the 1990s. In 1994, for example, of the total marriages involving resident Koreans in Japan, 81.7% were with Japanese. Now I'm going to show you a clip of, of the Virgin Snow, the movie on the right. Um, it is a story about a Korean young guy, Lee Jun Ki, which is a very popular idol in Korea and Bogey Nation nowadays, um, who go to uh, Kyoto and meet a very um, typical Japanese like man and butterfly uh, woman uh, in a dinta, in a shrine. So I'm going to show you this clip. Um, with English subtitles. Love Story is actually originated by Japanese during the Second World War. So in order to um, promote their um, Greater East Asianism, Japanese made a lot of films like um, telling... <laughs>
that it was the first time that Japan and Korea co-produced a television show together. And again, we see um, the heroine actually is played by a Japanese actress, uh, Fukuda Kyoko, and the hero is played by a very famous Korean idol called Wan Bi. Okay, so Korean TV drama, of course, became very popular in Asia nowadays. NHK, a Japan's broadcasting uh, company, broadcasting of Winter Sonata, kicked off the Korean boom in 2003 in Japan. So um, the top is um, Winter Sonata, and the bottom is an animation, an anime version produced mainly for a Japanese women. So. Um, also with the same title and the same story. So the male star Bae Yong Jun has been one of the most beloved male icons among Japanese female fans ever since. And this is the research uh, conducted by Women Magazine in Japan in the year around 2006. And they try to figure out in different generations who are the best, most popular guy for them. So, um, in 2000, they chose Taeyongjun, and you see other guys, even uh, David Beckham is very small, but the Taeyongjun uh, is the number one guy uh, among the Japanese male. So, apart from Taeyongjun, stars such as Lee byung and Kwang sang woo are also very popular among Japanese women. The images of these Korean stars are different from the Japanese male nowadays, who, as mentioned above, considered as weak and unreliable. For example, in a movie on the left, uh, called Hero, a movie made in 2007, uh, Korean star Lee byung hun makes a guest appearance as a cool tough guy helping Kitamura Takuya on Kimura Takuya fight against the Korean gangs. So the guy in orange jacket called Kimura Takuya is a very famous, um, perhaps the most famous Japanese uh, male stars nowadays in Japan. And he, he used to be um, a very tough guy in the 1990s, but uh, you see um, in 2000s he became um, weak somehow, so in this film he needs the, the Korean to help him. So I would like to show you a clip, a very short one, to see how this Korean guy helping Japanese to solve their problems. So these are uh, some Japanese war films, uh, such as uh, Hotaru, The Firefly, and For Those We Love. Um, also depict Korean men in a very positive way by reminding the audience, actually, there were Korean in kamikaze. So these kamikaze movies simplify and even romanticize the Japanese occupation of Korea during the wartime by emphasizing the mutual understanding and friendship between Japanese and Korean people. As mentioned above, Japanese filmmakers no longer depict Korea as inferior or evil. Instead, Korea today is generally seen as rich, modern, and fashionable. To most of the Japanese audience, especially female, Korean stars, so um, these are the cover of some women magazines in Japan, uh, the Korean stars on the left and on the right. In the middle is the Japanese star. So, uh, Korean stars represent beauty and modernity, modernity with their looks and lifestyles. So, the one in the middle is a Japanese um, girl who is promoting, oh, let's go to Korea and upgrade yourself, you know. So, in the past, maybe people like to go to Korea because the things there were cheap and also you can eat a uh, uh, very um, delicious food, but nowadays they just change uh, the idea. Now they go to Korea because they want to become more beautiful, um, more elegant, and more upgrade. And also on the right, you see um, how how they promote this Korean star by saying "Atama no hi onna no tsukurikata." So it's not just a mere my her beauty, but a my her intelligence. "Atama no hi" means uh, a wise person, you know very clever, smart person. So you see, um, they have changed their perception on Korean. So by, and, and by expressing their appreciation to Korean culture, 
Japanese people are able to redirect their anxiety, their, their anxiety and dissatisfaction towards their declining image, and more importantly, project their hopes to a better life. So that's all for my presentation. Thank you for listening.